Good morning. My name is Cheryl Bennett and I am an independent Mary Kay Beauty consultant. I wanted to share a couple of tips that I actually discovered this morning. I'm probably not the first person to discover them, but I discovered them for myself. Um, two of them. This is the oil mattifier and the under eye corrector. Now, I'm actually going to start with the under eye corrector. What I learned about this is it, it is good for under your eyes, but I decided to put it on the top of my eyes to help my makeup stay on. So um, what I did was my normal routine of washing my face, moisturizing it, and putting my eye cream on. Okay, if you don't have those things, these don't matter. These don't matter okay you it doesn't matter what color you put on your face if you don't start with a good clean canvas it's just like painting okay so I I went through that routine first like I always do just took a few minutes and then as I was putting my makeup on I put my eye primer on and then I put the under eye corrector it's kind of like a light concealer put that on and then I put my eye makeup on and it went on nice and smoothly uh, partly because you know I'm keeping my face clean with my um, oil free eye makeup remover and my eye cream but also because I think this just helps it to go on smoothly as, as well as the eye primer so I put this on and I'm really excited to see how the rest of my day goes with color um, I think it'll it'll stay on and right now we're wearing masks and it's going to be important um, to, to wear them a lot more often even than we were because because now retailers and schools are going to be um, requiring them. So I pay special attention to my eye color and um, all of my face really, but especially when it comes to color my eyes, because that's what people are going to see. Um, now, let's talk about masks for just a second. People are starting to talk more and more about mask knee, mask acne. And because we're having that mask on, it's going to keep our face at a little bit higher temperature and it's going to trap some of the oils and the impurities in the environment. And so um, that's okay. That's a good thing to give up to keep everybody safe, but that doesn't mean that we have to neglect our skin. All right, so this morning I put on my lip balm. Um, I scrub, I do a scrub on my lips maybe two or three times a week, just depending on how badly my lips need it. And then I put a lip balm on. That's usually my night routine. But when I'm going someplace and I'm going to be in a building and wearing a mask, I make sure to put my lip balm on and um, just to keep my lips fresh and um, moisturized, but not with like a natural oily stuff, like impure oil, I should say, from the environment. Okay. And then the next thing um, I did this morning was I went ahead and I put my primer on like I normally would, but I didn't bother with foundation because it's just going to rub off. Um, the SPF is not going to be as important when I have my mask on. And so what I did was I put this oil uh, mattifier on and what that does is it will just kind of soak up some of the extra shininess on your face and I can already see a difference. My skin still feels really smooth. It doesn't feel dry but it's gonna take care of some of those oils, excuse me, keep my um, skin a little bit more matte um, throughout the day as I'm wearing my, excuse me, as I'm wearing my mask. Okay, so again, um, another thing that's really gonna help with mask knee is keeping your skin clean. So it's really important that you wash your face every morning and every night, that you use a good moisturizer to replace the good oils, not the bad ones, um, and then, of course, we want to protect our eyes. It's just good to take care of the skin around there. It's thin, and it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, so I uh, hope that's helpful. I will put the links for those products in my um, comment section below. So check those out and let me know if you would be interested in, in purchasing those. I'd be glad to help you out. Have a good day, everybody.